Well, greetings everyone and welcome to another video. If you love the outdoors and love plants and animal wildlife and nature, then you're going to like this video. Today I am up here just outside of Waterville and I am at the Tyadotton State Forest Regional Office and Visitor Center. Pretty much my videos that you see from up in this area of all the vistas and the, the mountains and everything, all these forests up here are state forests and this is the regional office for this area. So they have a visitor center in here and uh, they have information there telling you about uh, what you would encounter if you're hiking around up here or uh, camping and everything. They got lots of information about the plants and the wildlife. So this is probably going to be a short video, but I want to take you guys inside there and uh, check the visitor center out. All right, so outside the visitor center here, they got uh, some information boards giving you information about the Pennsylvania wilds and a map of the area up here. You can pause the video if you want to read more about this. So this is the center that we're at, which is right over there. Lots of information inside there about the, the area. And then this board here is just explaining more of the Pine Creek Valley which is this whole area here where the Pine Creek flows down from Potter County all the way down to Jersey Shore where it meets up with the west branch of the Susquehanna River. All right, so when you walk into the visitor center here, I got some monitors up here, some of the photos, almost like the ones that you see in my videos from some of the lookouts up here. Here you can see a map of all the dark green area is all state forest. And just some of the many animals that you will encounter if you're up here hiking. There's information on the whippoorwill, and I absolutely love hearing those birds at nighttime, although this year I did not get to hear any up here. Sort of disappointing.
just tons of information here about the animals. more information about the plants. Here's some of the tools that are used in the logging industry up here because this area was big on logging back in the day. There you go when I was talking about the rail trail that goes through here and this was the the Corning secondary that went up into New York and there's a thing for the New York Central Railroad that went through here I believe this is actually a list of all the stops and the times that they stopped daily in the areas here And I don't know how good it's going to show up on the map, but there's the route for the railroad. There's Corning, New York. And it ran all the way down here to basically Williamsport, and Jersey Shore. And hopefully you can read the, the cards there on the uh, that are below each tool that you can read what they were used for and the era that they were used. That is just a huge tree. Don't have time to count all the, the rings on it, but that was a very old tree. <clears throat> and then you train lovers, they actually have a little model layout here of what the rail industry would have looked like when they used it for logging. They actually have Shea locomotives there that they used for going up the mountains, steep inclines, and these are all switchbacks that you see here. Of course, my rail fans out there, you guys already know that.
and I said that these villages up here had lumber mills. That was the lumber mill that was up in Slate Run. And then underneath you can see one of the, the big saws. And that saw was actually made by the Keystone Saw Works. And the saw that you're seeing there was made in Philadelphia around 1900. It's pretty neat. You get to see how a switchback works. That's pretty neat. If you never never saw how a switchback works before, now you got to see it. Also, a small Shea locomotive in action too. Pretty neat display. Then they got some more videos here that you can watch talking about the forest and the recreation. protecting the forest. And the ecosystem. And then over here, they have some stuffed birds of what you'll see in the valley up here.
and another book. More information about recreation, hunting, fire prevention or firefighting, energy from the forest, the natural gas, because this is all Marcella shale up here that you probably saw in my videos. And tiny but deadly. Yes. The gypsy moss were bad up here this year. The top of the mountains. Um, if you see in my videos of me driving around on the back dirt roads up on top of the mountain, it actually looks like fall up there, that there's hardly any leaves on the trees. And it was because of the gypsy moss. They were bad this year up here for whatever reason. And then over here, this talks about the, the valley and how it was formed thousands of years ago. <clears throat> Basically, the Pine Creek did exist before the uh, last ice age. And according to this, the valley hasn't been around very long. It uh, began forming about 15,000 years ago. But this whole area here was buried under ice sheets, thousands of feet thick. So that valley that you see outside there, this was all carved out from glaciers during the Ice Age. That is just incredible. So if you're a science buff, which I know one of my fellow YouTubers are, out and about science with Mr. G, he'll appreciate this video. All right, walking outside here, you can get, get a nice view of the mountains here and the valley. I said truly amazing that these uh that everything here was carved out from glaciers thousands of years ago And then the rooftop to their building, which is explained right here. You guys can pause the video if you want to read more about it, but I guess you can say it's an echo friendly rooftop. And more information on the plants that you find here.
and they got little binoculars that you can look through and check out the valley which if I could get the camera up here to it I'd show you but don't think it's gonna nope not gonna turn turn out that great I don't think nope not gonna work I tried Is it great little visitor center? Lots of information in here. This here tells you more about the conservation of the Penn's Woods. And I've talked about them before, the CC workers who did a lot of work up here way back when, planting trees, developing this area up here. And here at one of the information videos, they actually have these wood boards here. And these are actually made from wood species in Pennsylvania. You open them up and it tells you what kind of wood it is. So this map, as soon as you come in the door here, has information on all the state parks around here, at least up in this area of Pennsylvania. And some of them I've taken you to in my videos, been to Heiner View already, been to Len Leonard Harrison recently, Sometime we'll go back up and uh, check out Lyman Run, Cherry Springs I've been to. I'll have to go down to Kettle Creek at some point and Cinema Honing. They have a nice uh, reservoir over there. And of course, taking you to Little Pine Creek last fall. And this is where we're at right here. Tayadotten Resource Management Center. Another place, state park we've been to. See my videos from out there at Kinzu. And the Allegheny National Forest. That is just huge out there, but that's way out in the western part of the state. So it says here if we touch one of the lights on the map, a little show will pop up on the monitors up there. So let's try the one here for Little Pine.
just a short slideshow. Let's do Cherry Springs. Cherry Springs is the darkest place east of the Mississippi. And they do have uh, Stargazer Night up there, and they have um, observatories up there. And we'll do one more. You should recognize that place. So that's Cinema Honing. Gorgeous area out that way. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed that short video there of the Tayadatan uh, Resource Management and Visitor Center. Short video, but I at least wanted to take you in there and uh, shows you some information of what, you know, is all around up here and everything. And if you're a science buff, well, you might already know a lot of that stuff. But anyway, if you did like the video, please give it the thumbs up. Also, hit that subscribe button down there. And if you want to be notified when I upload new videos to YouTube, you can ring the bell down there as well. So until next time, it's have a ball and do it all. We'll see you soon.